Um, before I update these two devices, uh, I wanted to show you a quick video for some folks who want to know about the surveillance potential of mobile devices. Um, we're going to take a look at the app that's available on City. It's called Auto Answer. Um, just go to City and go to Search and go to type in Auto Answer, and bam, there it is. Uh, this app has not yet been updated, so it's not uh, compatible with the iOS 6 stuff yet. So I'll lose this uh, once I do the update, and um, that's why I wanted to make this video so we can see the capabilities of the app. So on the right, we have the iPad 2 with the auto answer installed, and on the left, we got the third generation iPad. Um, I know this is not the greatest view, and I apologize for that, but it's iPod 4. What's going to do? Uh, I'm not going to go into jailbreaking specifics, city uh, installation or the setup of the app, anything like that. So, sorry about that. I just want to show the capabilities real quick so I can get on to jailbreaking. So, anyway, so, uh, this app works off of FaceTime. Uh, we'll close out of city there. And um, basically, I'm going to grab the uh, iPad 3 because I'm going to make a FaceTime call on it. And I don't want to show the world my contact list alright so uh, we're now placing a call and it's connecting right there and there we go so the video that you're seeing as you can see is coming from this iPad 2 but the iPad 2 is fully functional you can't tell anything's going on uh, I'm gonna switch over to a screen recording for you here in a second so you can uh, see the screenshot we'll get us a little bit of audio going there and uh my battery is about to die on the ipod 4 so we're about up with that so what i'm going to do is uh enable screen recording we're going to display the recorder here i'm going to take you outside just so you can see and hear the audio and that's about it thanks Okay, I made a couple mistakes here. First, I forgot that the display recorder will only record audio if you have a microphone connected. Second, when I enabled the display recorder, it looks like it caused the video to freeze. I didn't really notice any of this until I started editing the video, and by that time, the iPad 2 was halfway through the 6.1 update. But you guys get the gist. So hopefully this app will get updated to the new iOS standards and uh, everybody can enjoy it a little bit. Thanks for watching. See you later.